Hello, when you order your self-regulating cable to put in your gutters or on your roof, it'll come in a spool of cable, and the end of the cable will look like this. It'll be just, it should just be cut off. What we want to do is, when, before we install any cable, we always want to test it to make sure that it's good before we put it in. So if you look, this cable is pretty nondescript. It, uh, you don't know really what's going on inside there, but what you need to do is you need to take it apart so you can test it to see if it's good or not. So if you look, you'll see that there is an outer uh, cover on the cable that's uh, like a plasticky type uh, substance. And inside that, you'll find that there are two pieces of metal, um, a bus bar we call them. There are two wires inside there and a ground. So you take this off and it will reveal these pieces. So what that leaves you with is a ground that goes around the cable and then um, these little black covered wires here. So what we need to do is we trim this back a couple inches we separate the grounds, we then remove the inner cover because there's another layer of insulation inside here and then that will reveal this uh, black inner core and the wires. This black inner core is what conducts the electricity between the two bus wires or the two cables inside which are right here. So what we need to do is we need to, when we get it, we need to make sure it's good, we need to use a mega ohm meter. A mega ohm meter can be uh, something that looks like this or it can look like this. This is the old fashioned crank one. This is old school. We don't really recommend using these anymore. We really want to suggest using the uh, electrical mega ohm meters. Uh, they're battery powered. So what we're doing is it's actually a, a high pot tester insulation tester. So all we're doing is we're making sure we're doing a test on this conductor to ground to make sure there's no continuity in the roll. And we're also going from this conductor to ground to make sure there's no continuity at all. What you want to do is you want to set this uh, mega ohmmeter to the 500 volt selection and then you want to test it and make sure that this, either one of these, is not making contact with the ground. So what you do is you just put this on one of the wires, like so. And then you take the other wire and hold it against, or the other probe and hold it against the wire here. So to do that, you're going to need two hands. So um, I'm going to show you this as easy as I can. I'm going to attach here to the top one. I then set this to 500 volts. And I press and do the test. Once again, this is very high voltage. You do not want to be in contact with this voltage. And it says I have infinity, which means there is no connectivity between the outer braid or the ground and the inner core. Then I do the same thing on the other core wire. Clip that on there. Go ahead and take this and hold it against the ground, making sure to do the test. And I get infinity again, which means that either one of these metal wires inside this cable are coming in contact with the ground. So this cable is good. 